Hello Geminis, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Geminis this week? Knight of Swords, firstly. Whew. I'm getting something funny around the Knight of Swords which isn't normal. Knight of Swords is um, usually like the Knight in Shining Armor card. So either you're helping out someone this week, you're quick, like you're jumping in your car to go and help, or someone's jumping in their car to come and help you. There's something very fast about this, but there's also something kind of funny. Hmm, I'm going to clarify and figure out why. You also just got the Tower card. And the Five of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. So I'm going to clarify the Knight of Swords first and then talk you through the other cards because I'm really curious about why the Knight of Swords is here right now. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Four of Cups. I don't know why I'm getting Save Yourself. You know when someone's like jokingly running away from something and it's like save yourself say like i'll be okay save yourself but it's lightheartedly um with the four of cups hmm some of you are like some of you are saving yourself and then somebody else is like no 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 like genuine, like whatever it is that's happening in your life, you're like, oh, I'm an independent woman or an, I'm an independent man. I don't need anybody to help. And you're halfway through doing something a really difficult way instead of just asking for help. Um, like, I don't know what it is, but you don't know how to do it or you're just doing it. You're going all around the houses to do it when you could have just asked someone for help. And somebody's going to catch you halfway through like, what are you doing? why it's like why are you walking to work you live miles out and then the other person and you're like huh i like walking and then they find out your car broke down or something and they pick you up i don't know there's something where you're instead of just asking or ringing someone saying can you pick me up it's like you're fiercely independent and then someone kind of catches you and makes you accept help this week and it's funny because it's like you think you're getting away with it there's something you're doing on your own independent you're like i'm fine i'm good and they catch you and they're like why are you doing that <laughs> so strange there's something really weird about it i don't know clarify the tower so the tower is usually a card of um abrupt endings random transformations there could be a transformation in your life um doesn't have to be negative when i say things like that um but it's just a, a abrupt there's gonna be a clear line between this event of the past you and the new you now that could be a new person coming into your life it could be like a brand new friend where it's like well when they came to my life everything changed everything changed in the blink of an eye because of them um and with the tower card, I'm going to clarify and see why it's there. Because it doesn't necessarily feel negative. Page of Cups. Good. It's positive. Page of Cups is a happy surprise. Um, there's something that's going to surprise you. And obviously the tower is a surprise on its own. Because it's unexpected change and upheaval. But it's not. It's a happy surprise. It's like... Hmm. Hmm. Some of you are um, having to change location for your job and I'm going to say that quite confidently because of the fact that I got like that you were driving to work but then you were walking to work but it's actually really far away, um, like it's too far to walk and I just feel as if some of you, that's not the case but it's going to be, you are going to be venturing out further or if you work from home you're going to have an office that you have to go to, there's something where you are but it's good, but it's also a transformation for you because you're not used to it. Maybe you're used to walking to work if you don't work at home. Whatever it is, it's it's change, but there's a happy it's a happy surprise. Maybe it's like a um promotion or something. 
because it's it's unexpected but it's happy. I'm going to clarify the five of pentacles. Strength. Five of pentacles is usually um, feeling alone, feeling at left out in the cold, feeling like um, I don't know, like you're, nobody's got your back but you, which might be why at the start of this it was like this fiercely independent energy of you not wanting anyone's help because you're used to being alone and you're used to having your own um, your own back. You had your own back, but with the strength card here, I feel like it's actually going to take you a lot more courage to give this up, to let somebody help you. And as I'm saying that, I'm seeing the Six of Pentacles, which is all about help and giving energy and usually get to question is this you is this someone else but i know this is someone else because it's time for you to accept some help it's time for you to accept a helping hand um i feel like you're the one usually giving it let's see clarify the six of pentacles ten of swords ending there's an ending to you not accepting others help you're going to come to your wit's end where you go okay i actually have to I actually have no choice now because it's up to you though, right? That's what that's why the tower usually comes in. When you refuse to accept something, the universe throws something at you that makes you have no choice but to accept it. And I feel like that's what's happening. You have no choice but to accept someone else's help. You don't even realise it. And it's gonna be a good thing and it's okay because you've helped this person before. You've helped others before. It's okay to accept it now in return. Um, it's how it works. So please, and Six of Cups here, this is very much, it's not that deep. It's what I'm getting from the Six of Cups. Sometimes I talk really intensely and I make things seem dramatic because I'm a drama queen. But whatever this is, just accept the help. It's not that deep. It's not that deep and you've helped this person and will continue to help this person in the future. But there's something here where you're being very stubborn or very, like, independent. Just know that people care about you just as much as you care about them and they want to help you and it makes them feel good to help you just as much as it makes you feel good to help them accept it in return um, I'm going to wrap your reading up here thanks so much for watching if anything I said resonated or you feel it will in the future please let me know by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Total Terror Tuesdays